Hello Stampers, Jackie Ball Heist from Clomp and Stampers. I've got some fun little note cards to share with you today. We're gonna use the witticisms. I guess that's how you pronounce it, stamp set. This one just kind of cracks me up. Um, it's fun, it's perfect to send little note cards to anybody for all sorts of reasons. But you know me, I always like to show quick and easy cards and I like to make sure I share lots of stamping tips. So today, we have a couple of tips I haven't shared in a while. One is how to put the labels on the back of your cling mount stamps. I get questions about that all the time, so I, and I always forget to talk about it. So we're gonna talk about that today. We're gonna do some quick and easy coloring with some Stampin' Blends, and I'm gonna show you how to put together an adorable note card using each one of these stamp sets. All kind of the same, but a little bit different. So let's get started. I'm gonna flip the camera down, and let's take a look at the stamp set and get stamping. Hold on one sec. Here's a peek at the stamp set, witty, witty Sisms, that's tough to say. It's in the spring and summer mini catalog if you haven't seen it yet, but it's just one of those sets that are fun, especially for note cards. You know, little images, I like to layer them with a little bit and put them on a note card. So that's what we're gonna do today. But like I said, I wanna just give you kind of a refresher if you've seen this before, maybe you're newer to Stampin' Up! Stamps and show you how to put your labels on. When you get the cling mount stamps, they're gonna come like this. You just kind of punch them out of the rubber piece there. And then you peel off the backing. And I think I've, well, you know what? This one isn't peeled off yet. So it has a peel off backing. So we just go ahead and peel that off. And you can actually just stick these to the block like that. You'll notice quite often, probably more often than not, I don't put the stickers on. You know, it's just kind of a habit I got into years ago and you know, I feel like I don't need them so I don't do them. But if you wanna put the stickers on, all you need to do is find the right one, obviously. And then on the back side here, each one, it's split like so, so it's real easy to peel off. You wanna peel that backing off and then take your stamp, make sure you peel the backing off, and then the easiest way to do this is to lay it down right onto it. You know, it, it fits exactly. So find one of those spots where you can just lay it down and then pick it back up like so. These are not forgiving. You cannot, once you get it down on there, you are not gonna be able to peel it back off and readjust it or anything. So make sure you get it on where you want it in the first place. Now, and this is why they call them cling mount, these are super duper sticky to your blocks. Um, you need to even be a little bit careful, like after you're done stamping with it, don't just rip it off, okay? Make sure you kind of get down and get under and then take it off. Um, I also kind of make sure when I'm done with the stamp, I take it off. Don't leave it sit for the next day or whatever, um, because then sometimes they can be a little tough. I've even had to use my little piercing tool to, to kind of work my way up under there. But that's your quick little lesson today on, um, putting your labels on and the cling mount stamps. Like I said, we are using Stampin' Blends to color today. Now make sure whenever you use Stampin' Blends, you're using the Memento Black for your black. And then Whisper White cardstock is really what's designed to work best with the blends, which are simply alcohol markers if, if you're not sure what the Stampin' Blends are. Definitely my preferred way to color these days. But we're gonna do the ta Taco Boat Awesome. And we're gonna just go ahead and stamp it on this little piece of Whisper White. I think it's one and a half by two. Now I'll have all the measurements over on the website for you for all the cards that I have to share with you, um, which really, what do I got? About six of them, I think. But I'll have all the measurements over there for you as well as a list of all the products I use. So in case you wanna place an order, I'll make it super easy for you. And if you do wanna place an order, I truly appreciate it when you select me to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now. Let's get the blend caps off here. I almost always use them in light and dark together. Oh, I pulled it, this one's light. And so we've got the Mango Melody here, and we're gonna just go ahead, smaller um, sections, I like to just use the bullet tip, but we're gonna go light, and then I'll come back in here with the dark, and let's just kind of go around this side and put a little bit here, and then I'll come back with my light and just kind of blend it in. You know, the advantage of using blends and alcohol markers is you don't get marker streaks. Um, I don't know about you, but when I've colored in the past with regular markers, it drives me crazy when you get marker streaks and everything's like just a super solid dark image. 
blends really let you just kind of get those different shades and you can layer them so if you feel like you want a little bit darker out on those edges put a little more darker come in with that little bit of light and there we've colored oh let's go down here a little more our taco shell now with these also when you put the caps on make sure you hear the snap push them down on the table hear that snap and you know they're sealed up good for you and then this is, I believe, our light old olive. And I'm only going to use the light here because there's not much. But just put a little color up there on the lettuce. And there we've colored our little image. And then let's just go ahead and put a quick little note card together. So I've got our, I think it's called flax, white flax ribbon. And I'm going to just cut a piece that's a little bit longer um, than my image here. Oops. And then I use a lot of scotch tape when I'm making cards. And I'm going to just take this and I'm going to put it right kind of in the middle there. Flip it over. Oh, there you can see how blends go through your cardstock as well. So that's normal. Um, go ahead. Oh, a little bit big there. Put that on there. And then we're going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we'll put them on after that. So there. Put four on there. Make sure this pops up really nice. Um, stampin' dimensionals, I call these my, my stampin' candy. They have to be um, on just about every card I made. Oh, we're sticking out a little bit there with that scotch tape. I just kind of, you can use your scissors and trim that off a bit. I don't want those pieces. There you go. Then we're going to stick it onto a piece of old olive that's just a quarter inch bigger, like so. And then if you want this a little shorter, I think that's a little bit long. Let's just trim that one off a little bit. Then I have our scallop edge note cards. Now I love, we have several different kinds of note cards and envelope packs, but I love when you buy the note cards and envelopes because you get not only the note card, but you get the matching envelope. And these come in a package with four different colors. So you get the envelopes and the note card. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put some more dimensionals on the back. Um, I think note cards are great for little images and this size. And this is big enough to go through the U.S. Post Office. Um, but we just kind of layered that little image with a little bit of color. And then we'll go ahead and we'll stick it on like so. And there's our cute little note card. Now, if you want to put something on the inside, what I like is just a teeny tiny little strip of... Um, of the designer series paper. Let me grab my adhesive. We don't want to use um, dimensionals on this. So a little bit on there. And this is from those color packs. So you can get them for all the different color groups. One side is gingham on each the different designs. So we're going to go ahead, just put a little half inch strip out there on the edge. If it's a little bit too long, I just go ahead and trim it off. But I like putting on the edge there with these scallop note cards because when it's closed, now you've got that little bit of coordinating old olive with the old olive layer that we used. And there's our cute little note card. We can throw it in the envelope, pop it in the mail to someone. Now let's look at the other ones. What I like to do with a stamp set like this that has a lot of little images is just kind of play around and make up one of each. So that's what I did here. I just used all these note cards. Each one is colored with blends on Whisper White with a coordinating color underneath. So there is our thank you very much. I need to add some of that gingham on here because I really like the look of that. Looking sharp, you know, perfect for a guy card. I know we all struggle with masculine cards. Relax and chinchilla out. And that's fun. Put little, just a little dab of ribbon on with each one of these. Here's our baby one. How sweet is that? Just did a little baker's twine bow on there. And then kind of put these two stamps together. Wow, that went fast and you did it for a graduation card. Just some scraps of ribbon underneath there. So let's bring in that one. So there are six different note cards, all using witty sisms. So like I said, hop on over to my website. I'll give you the dimensions. Each one of these white pieces and the corresponding layer are just a little bit different based on the size of the stamp. So I'll list all of that over there as well as pictures of all the cards and a list of all the supplies I used today. So as always guys, if you have any stamping questions whatsoever, make sure to leave me a comment or send me an email. I'm here to help you. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the quick and easy card making videos that I bring to you usually three times a week. So until I stamp with you again in a couple of days, have a stamp happy day.